Why is it called the Bermuda Triangle, and is it real? The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is an area in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean where ships and airplanes are said to have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. The boundaries of the Bermuda Triangle are not clearly defined, but it is generally considered to be an area bounded by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. The term Bermuda Triangle was coined by magazine writer Vincent Gaddis in 1964, and the concept of a mysterious, danger-filled area in the Atlantic Ocean has been a popular one for centuries. However, there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of the Bermuda Triangle as a region with a higher-than-normal incidence of unexplained disappearances. There are many theories about what might cause the mysterious disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle, including human error, piracy, and natural disasters such as hurricanes. Some people have even suggested that the Bermuda Triangle is a portal to another dimension or that it is home to some kind of supernatural or extraterrestrial activity. However, despite the many theories and anecdotes, there is little scientific evidence to support the idea that the Bermuda Triangle is a uniquely dangerous place. Many of the supposed mysterious disappearances in the area can be explained by natural causes, such as storms, equipment failure, and human error. Bermuda Triangle Stories Five Scary Tales of Sudden Disappearance and Wreckages. Let's peruse five strangest accounts of unfortunate incidents that happened in Bermuda Triangle. Some will seem acceptable, some far fetched, while some, extremely nerve wracking. But all these accounts and Bermuda Triangle stories have been told by numerous people over the course of hundreds of years. Plus, there are some facts too that will put the Bermuda Triangle myths aside and lead to speculations. 1. The Ghastly Tale of Marie Celeste. On the fateful day of December 5, 1872, Marie Celeste set sail from New York Harbor to carry cargo to a specified destination. But unfortunately, the ship never made it to the point. After several search and rescue efforts, the ship was found adrift in Bermuda Triangle, but sans its crew of 11 people. Personal belongings, food containers, precious cargo, and lifeboats were still there on the ship. What's more speculative is that there was rotten food on the plates in the dining area. What happened to these people to make them abandon their safe haven, in the middle of the violent sea, that too right in the middle of a meal? 2. Ghostly Presence and Disappearance of Ellen Austin Out of all the accounts of Bermuda Triangle myths, this one is really spooky and unnerving. This is the story of a ship, Ellen Austin, falling trapped to a ship that was considered to be a bad omen. In 1881, while Ellen Austin was on its way, the crew came across an abandoned ship that had all the amenities intact but not a single crew member on board. In an effort to salvage the ship, some of Ellen Austin's crew hopped onto the nameless ship to maneuver it to New York. During the course, Ellen Austin's crew lost track of the abandoned ship. When they came across it again, the ghostly ship was again crewless. That is when Ellen Austin transmitted for a rescue ship. It was communicated that Ellen Austin was again dispatching a few of its crew members to the nameless ship. Upon reaching the communicated point, rescue ships never found any of the two. Both Ellen Austin and the ghostly ship had disappeared. Hitherto, there are several accounts of sightings of Ellen Austin with that ghostly ship, trying to mislead the ships or just trying to capture the dispatched crew members. 3. The Fateful End of USS Cyclops The USS Cyclops was a beast of a ship, commissioned by US government to aid the British forces during World War I. The Collier ship set sail to Brazil at the break of dawn in late February, 1918. However, it never reached its destination. It was last seen off the coast of Barbados on March 4. Search teams were sent out to salvage the Iron Giant, but as we know, it was of no avail. When the families of 306 crew members started asking questions, the US government doubled its search operations. But just when there was no hope left, the government disclosed that there were no SOS calls, no wreckages, no sudden storms, and no remains of the ship. With sincere poignancy, the government declared the ship to be lost and its inhabitants to be dead. Needless to say, it was the greatest loss ever to the U.S. Navy. What makes this more interesting, or creepy, is that two other Collier ships USS Proteus and USS Nereus were doomed with the same fate in the year 1941. There were no accounts, but just memories left of these ships too. Disappearance of Flight 19 The most infamous of the disappearances in the Triangle is of Flight 19. On the eve of December 5, 1945, 
five of the best Avenger bombers of the U.S. Navy vanished into thin air while carrying out a routine mission. The squadron's commander, Lt. Charles Taylor, was constantly in touch with the base until his frequency broke down mid-sentence. There was no static or lost signal, just complete breakage in the link. Those five aircrafts were never seen or heard of again. To top it all, the rescue force dispatched to recover the planes too never returned. The rescue force vanished in a similar fashion when their frequency broke down mid-sentence. After years of investigation, the case was closed with a tag of cause unknown. 5. Mystery of Marine Sulphur Queen In 1960, Marine Sulphur Queen was converted into a carrier of molten sulphur from being a T-2 tanker. It was a 600-feet giant built in 1944 for the purpose of storage. On the yell-fated day of February 2nd in 1963, it set sail to its concluding journey. At that time it was carrying 15,000 tons of molten sulfur and 39 valued crew members. Its existence was last acknowledged on February 4th. Just like in many cases, its radio transmission broke mysteriously mid-sentence. What's more intriguing is that during the transmission, the commander was briefing about good weather conditions and helpful navigation, just before the reporting was cut short. It was sad to see such a monstrous tanker meet its end like this, after years and years of successful operations. These were just the snippets from most publicized, reported cases. There are several thousand more disappearances and losses which have not been accounted for or never came to the light, due to various reasons. Thank you for watching please like subscribe and share my video.